Hey, so um, today I went to CVS really quick before I went to lab, and I grabbed a whole lot of stuff from there on sale. Um, the brands that I got included L'Oreal Hip, um, Maybelline, and Milani. Okay, so um, the first items that I just jumped for at CVS were um, the L'Oreal Hip Collection. I feel like they're kind of clearing out their inventory for now because a lot of everything was buy one get one free. And I've been waiting for their um, cream shadow paints to come out at CVS, but they seem to not be available there or at Walgreens. And maybe only available at like Walmart or maybe Target. I've, hear, I've heard it being available at Walmart, so check it out there. But for now, they just buy one get one free at, at HIP, at um, CVS, excuse me. So the first items I got were two high intensity pigment. That's what HIP stands for. H I P, high intensity pigments. Um, I got two HIP shocking shadow pigments, and these are meant to mimic um, Max pigments. They're just loose eyeshadows, and they come in a little like jar right here. So um, they come in a jar, and I, I'm not sure of the price per volume, but originally these are $12 for uh, 1.5 grams. So you can divide that out, and then you can go to the MAC website. I think it's like $19.50 um, for, you know, maybe larger than this. So I don't know if the price per volume is the same or not. I wouldn't be, even be surprised if this was, like, the same or similar. But anyway, it was buy one, get one free, so each one was, like, 6 bucks. So can't beat that. Six bucks will get you like a little Mac pigment sample if you buy like from online. So, yeah, here it is. Here's the top. It it comes with a sifter, kind of like Max. The holes are a little bigger, and then there's no um, plastic cover. And there's like a lid on top of this, and then you put the jar on for like I mean the, the lid on for Max, but they don't have it here. So I'm wondering how that's gonna go out um, and pan out when you kind of try to screw it back. But this is like um, a brownish maroonish color and unashamed in number 544 and then I got 228 in striving kind of like a tealish green kind of reminds me of a color I have called night light this is more like teal though or bluish so I'm really excited about these and I'll probably post a video reviewing them with like um, max pigments and then like and MYX loose shadows oh, oh yeah each jar comes with a little mini brush that says hip and they don't feel too bad. Um, I actually am probably going to keep these, and I kind of want them to just go with the uh, pigment that it came with. So I don't have to keep washing like a bazillion um, brushes, or I, ha you know, wash the same one a bazillion times. So I keep them. I wouldn't say the same about the, excuse me, <laughs> the brush that comes with the um, Color Truth Cream Eyeliner. And I got one in um, 9.30 brown. And this is about the same size as a MAC paint pot. Um, this is a lot smaller, a larger, you know, paint pots are larger than the MAC fluid lines. The fluid lines would be about like this large. And I heard good things about this and um, I needed one in brown, a gel eyeliner in brown. I believe this is like waterproof. I believe the um, wearing is very similar to the MAC Fluid line, so that's why I bought this in brown. And this brush that it comes with, an angled brush, is kind of fat, so I can ever already foresee myself just throwing this away. Um, one of these costs $11.99, and I didn't want to get another one of these for the buy one get one free deal, so I got something else, and that something else was um, a color rich cream crayon eyeliner slash shadow stick and this is in the color called 282 intricate and this was um, 9 99 so I didn't get my full value for like the buy one get one free when I bought the eyeliner but I didn't need two eyeliners so you know whatever um, anyway the best thing about this is that it's shadow slash eyeliner and I really am a big fan of MAC shade sticks and NYX jumbo pencils but this one comes with this sharpener and I love when things have a sharpener it's like when you open a product and you like l turn it up to let it grow it comes with a point but then after a while it becomes this like round dome and I like when it has a sharpener so that you can you know update it so that's a plus um, I kinda swatched it here I rubbed it so it's not shimmering at all this is a matte 
I think other ones might be shimmery, but uh, I wanted a blue because I don't have a blue, dark blue solid base. I have one in Air de Bleu from MAC, and that's like more of like a light blue, and it's more sparkles than it is like a base. So I'm excited to try this out. I'll probably just compare this with a MAC Shade Stick and NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils. If you want me to, I might just do that by myself later. Next thing I got, buy one get one free, were two Maybelline mascaras. One was Volume Express in brownish black. Whoa. In brownish black, number 212, and it's waterproof. Um, I got it because I needed another waterproof, and I needed one in brownish black because... Actually, I actually don't need it. My hair is black, so it actually kind of looks natural when I wear black. But I thought it would be a different like take on a brown look. You know, I can wear brownish black with it. So, and I took advantage of the buy one get one free. I also had a coupon for um, one dollar off to find a lash. So totally it was like two of them for like seven dollars or something. So each one's like three fifty. So that's really good. And I've heard excellent things about to find a lash. Kind of about Volume Express waterproof. I already have like um, full and soft waterproof from Maybelline, and I didn't like it so much, but it was okay, so I thought I'd just get another one of brownish black. And this is the last freaking Define a Lash in CVS, so these are just going, like, nuts, especially with buying them free with that dollar coupon. So look in your Sunday paper, even look at CVS, because they have, like, little coupon books that kind of hang there, and you could just take one. So, yes, I'm excited to try this, especially because my plush lash seems to have run dry. So actually I have like four mascaras waiting. I've been like holding back like you wouldn't even believe to try my to not try not to buy mascara because I you don't need that many and if you open it you'll start to contaminate each one you are using with bacteria. So I just keep them in the little package and don't touch them. I also got two uh, Maybelline Define a Line. I like to find a lash. Define a line eyeliners. And these are the only Maybelline liners that were like rated um, reasonably okay. So I got them in colors I didn't have. I got one in uh, Rich Raisin, like a plummy, and then a navy blue. Um, yeah, and they're automatics, and they come with smudgers, and they don't come with um, sharpeners, but, oh, it does. It's a sharpener slash smudger. Oh, my life is made complete. Sharpener slash smudger. I don't really care about the smudger, but sharpener would be awesome. So if you notice, the items I buy, even from drugstore, I don't buy just because I they're on sale. And I don't buy them to get duplicates of another color. Like, I try to try colors that I'm interested in in cheaper brands with the hopes of, A, finding something that can take care of that color need, and B, trying to find a, um, a replacement for a more expensive high-end cosmetic. So here's the smudger, the cap. The sharpener, oh, it's like dual-ended awesomeness. That is pretty freaking nifty. Uh, oh, it looks just like the MAC Technicals, as you might believe. It's not bad, and I'll wear it, and I wonder if it'll do as well as the Ulta, because I love the Ulta, so check out my, my review for that. Lastly, but not leastly, I got a Milani Minerals Loose Makeup uh, Powder Foundation in 04 True Beige. And I am a Bare Essentials Powder Foundation user. Yes, I am. But it's $25 a friggin' jar. And this one's like $9. So, And I heard great things about this lower end, you know, drugstore brand. So I said, hey, I need a lighter color anyway because I got mine in medium tan from Bare Essentials. And it was more like my color during the summer, so I needed a lighter one. So I said, hey, well, why don't I just kill two birds with one stone, get the lighter one, and then um, save some money while I'm at it, so. But anyway, um, that's that's my haul for today, and if you have any questions about what I got, um, I said all the prices, so don't ask me for them, and if you want me to review anything, just let me know, and I'll try to, to review them in that order. Thanks for watching. Bye.